The alpha-2 adrenergic receptor is a G-protein coupled receptor associated with the GI heterotrimeric G-protein. It consists of three highly homologous subtypes, including I plus or minus 2A, I plus or minus 2B, and I plus or minus 2C adrenergic. Some species other than humans express a fourth I plus or minus 2D adrenergic receptor as well. Cate colamins like norepinephrine and epinephrine signal through the I plus or minus 2 adrenergic receptor in the central and peripheral nervous systems. Cellular localization I plus or minus 2A adrenergic receptor is localized in the following central nervous system structures brainstem, midbrain, hypothalamus, hippocampus, spinal cord, cerebral cortex, cerebellum, septum whereas the I plus or minus 2B adrenergic receptor is localized in the following CNS structures, olfactory system, thalamus, pyramidal layer of the hippocampus, cerebellar perkinge layer, and the I plus or minus 2C adrenergic receptor is localized in the CNS structures, midbrain, thalamus, amygdala, dorsal root ganglia, olfactory system, hippocampus, cerebral cortex, basal ganglia, substantia nigra, Ventral tegmentum effects, the I plus or minus 2 adrenergic receptor is classically located on vascular prejunctional terminals where it inhibits the release of norepinephrine in a form of negative feedback. It is also located on the vascular smooth muscle cells of certain blood vessels, such as those found in skin arterioles or on veins, where it sits alongside the more plentiful I plus or minus 1 adrenergic receptor. The I plus or minus 2 adrenergic receptor binds both norepinephrine released by sympathetic postgangelionic fibers and epinephrine released by the adrenal medulla, binding norepinephrine with slightly higher affinity. It has several general functions in common with the I plus or minus 1 adrenergic receptor, but also has specific effects of its own. Agonists of the I plus or minus 2 adrenergic receptor are frequently used in veterinary anesthesia where they affect sedation muscle relaxation and analgesia through effects on the central nervous system. General, common effects include, suppression of release of norepinephrine by negative feedback, transient hypertension, followed by a sustained hypertension, vasoconstriction of certain arteries, vasoconstriction of arteries to heart however the extent of this effect may be limited and may be negated by the vasotilitary effect from I2 receptors, constriction of some vascular smooth muscle, venoconstriction of veins, decreased motility of smooth muscle and gastrointestinal tract, inhibition of lipolysis, facilitation of the cognitive functions associated with the frontal cortex, sedation, analgesia, individual, individual actions of the I plus or minus 2 receptor include, mediate synaptic transmission in pre and post synaptic nerve terminals, decrease release of acetylcholine, Decrease release of norepinephrine inhibit norepinephrine system in brain. Inhibition of lipolysis in adipose tissue, inhibition of insulin release in pancreas, induction of glucagon release from pancreas, platelet aggregation, contraction of sphincters of the gastrointestinal tract, decreased secretion from salivary gland, relaxed gastrointestinal tract, decreased aqueous humor fluid production from the ciliary body, signaling cascade. The I plus or minus subunit of an inhibitory G protein, GI dissociated from the G protein, and associates with adenyl cyclase. This causes the inactivation of adenyl cyclase, resulting in a decrease of CAMP produced from ATP. This leads to a decrease of intracellular CAMP. Protein kinase A is not able to be activated by CAMP, so proteins such as phosphorylase kinase cannot be phosphorylated by PKA. In particular, phosphorylase kinase is responsible for the phosphorylation and activation of glycogen phosphorylase, an enzyme necessary for glycogen breakdown. Thus in this pathway, the downstream effect of adenyl cyclase inactivation is decreased breakdown of glycogen. The relaxation of gastrointestinal tract motility is by presynaptic inhibition, where transmitters inhibit further release by homotropic effects. Ligands Binding affinity in clinical data on a number of alpha-2 ligands, agonists, norepinephrine has higher affinity for the I plus or minus 2 receptor than has epinephrine, and therefore relates less to the latter's functions. 
Non-selective agonists include the antihypertensive drug clonidine, used to lower blood pressure and hot flashes associated with menopausal symptoms. Clonidine has also been successfully used in indications that exceed what would be expected from a simple blood pressure lowering drug. It has recently shown positive results in children with ADHD who suffer from tics resulting from the treatment with a CNS stimulant drug, such as Adderall Exa or methylphenidate. Clonidine also helps alleviate symptoms of opioid withdrawal. The hypertensive effect of clonidine was initially attributed through its agonist action on presynaptic I plus or minus 2 receptors, which act as a down regulator on the amount of norepinephrine released in the synaptic cleft, an example of autoreceptor. However, it is now known that clonidine binds to imidazolin receptors with a much greater affinity than I plus or minus 2 receptors, which would account for its applications outside the field of hypertension alone. Imidazolin receptors occur in the nucleus tractus solitaria and also the central lateral medulla. Clonidine is now thought to decrease blood pressure via this central mechanism. Other non-selective agonists include dexmedetomidin, lofexidin, TDIQ, tizanidine and xylazine. Xylazine has veteran reuse. In the European Union, Dexmedetomidin received a marketing authorization from the European Medicines Agency on 082012 under the brand name of Dijkst. It is indicated for sedation in the ICU for patients needing mechanical ventilation. In non-human species this is an immobilizing and anesthetic drug, presumptively also mediated by I plus or minus 2 adrenergic receptors because it is reversed by Yohimbine, an I plus or minus 2 antagonist. I plus or minus 2 A selective agonists include guanfacine and bromanidine. R minus 3 nitrobifeniline is an I plus or minus 2 C selective agonist. Antagonists, non selective I plus or minus blockers include O80426, Actipamzol, phenoxabenzamine, efferoxin, idazoxin, experimental, SB269970, and uhembine. Tetracyclic antidepressants mirtazapine and mirancerin are also potent I plus or minus antagonists with mirtazapine being more selective for I plus or minus 2 subtype than mirancerin. I plus or minus 2A selective blockers include BRL44408 and RX821002. I plus or minus 2B selective blockers include ARC239 and imaloxan. I plus or minus 2C selective blockers include JP1302 and spiroxetrine, the latter also being a serotonin 5-HT1A antagonist. See also, adrenergic receptor, references. External links, adrenoceptors. IUPHAR database of receptors and ion channels. International Union of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology A.